right for any company whether they have five employees or 500 employees one of the most important and financially sensitive activity that hr is supposed to conduct every month is executing the payroll in this section we'll take a look at how asanify helps you run the payroll activity for your company in literally 5 or 10 seconds every month let's see how that is done on the left navigation panel all i need to do is within the payroll section i click on run payroll i have to select the month for which i am running the payroll let's say i want to do it for jan of 2022 once i click this run button the system is calculating the overall earnings deductions tax component gross salary net salary for the people based on all the information that has already been fed into asanify you see the system has thrown the gross and net salary number for all the employees already i can also click on the pay slip preview even before finalizing the payroll to see what the end salary slip for any particular employee is going to look like at the completion this just helps me be sure that how the system has been uh, calculating the numbers is accurate and as per the expectation that we had if somebody wants to go and see the step by step calculation of how the tax has been computed that also can be done quite easily this is literally how any person would run it on an excel or any other software for doing the tds calculation so considering the applicable salary any processed inputs that might be there if there is any pro rata being done processing the pf esi taxes you'll see there is a detailed formula for each of these for you to see how the calculation and the net salary has been calculated this features make sure that at any point in time if your payroll is not throwing the right number or the number as per your expectations you can clearly identify at what stage the input into the system is not right and you can go back and correct it another key differentiator in asanify is the fact that our attendance system talks seamlessly to the payroll system if people in your company are not present and they don't they have not even taken the leave for that particular day you can choose to sync their attendance with the payroll and calculate the loss of pay days in clicking this button called sync lop days the system will ask me for what period attendance am i looking at since i'm running the payroll for january the system will throw the january attendance once i click on sync lop the system now goes and sees the attendance record for all my employees and automatically populates the loss of pay days that you see here so for these people who had not been present in the company for x number of days it gets populated already here i can also do any input that i may have over and above their usual salary component like let's say this person has done some stellar job and i want to give them a 5000 rupee bonus over and above their salary if i if somebody else deserves a commission to be paid i can do that entry if i want to add some reimbursement outside of uh, their normal salary component i can do that if there are a bunch of these things that are present with you in an excel you can simply upload the csv and do this activity for multiple employees as well once i have done that all i need to do is process inputs and review now the system goes back and recalculates all the tax depending upon what the numbers have now been entered manually over and above the system numbers or uh, that are already in place at this point all i need to do is confirm and generate the pay slip and my payroll activity is done you'll see the system throws the overall net salary provident fund amount esi amount professional tax etc etc and this can be passed to your third party who does the actual payroll execution or the in-house team which is going to credit the money to people's salary account at this point even the pay slip of the employees gets automatically generated and they can go and download the same for their account let's have a look at the past pay run if you have to give the payroll sheet to a third party ca firm or to your accounts team you can simply go to past pay run this is the january payroll that we have run just now by clicking on it you will get the overall company level view and individual employee level view of each of the components that have been earned and the net salary which finally needs to be paid out this can quite easily be downloaded as an excel or a csv and passed to the third party team or your internal accounts team as far as your employees are concerned once the payroll activity is completed they can just go to the pay slip section click on download 
for every employee they'll be able to see for for their own salary slip as an admin i can see it for all the people and once you select the employee let's say i want to select uh, i want to see the pay slip for Dece uh, December of 2021 for this employee, I can either download the payslip or send the payslip to the employee's email ID. At Asanify, we have also given the payslip setting option to the admin of the company, where apart from the default fields, which are the standard components in the payslip, you can also customize it to decide whether you want to show the bank details, PAN, UAN, et cetera, et cetera. If you're doing the loss of pay calculation basis people's attendance, it's usually a good idea to show the attendance summary and the daily attendance status as well on the pay slip. It gets added as an annexure. So people know that if they are being deducted five days of loss of pay, which were, the four, which were those five days that they were not present. And with this, our payroll activity gets completed quite seamlessly. Thank you.